Hello everyone, Damian Geppetto here. This is part three of the How to Start a Save Game in Football Manager 22 series. If you have not watched the other ones, go start at the beginning there, watch part one up top, and uh, begin your journey on this. If you've already watched part one and you skipped part two, how dare you? Go watch part two. Go watch part two. Now that you're back and you've watched the first two, we will continue on with a third part series. We've gone through and gone over the basics of starting a save, which involves firing everybody who sucks as your coaching staff. That's right. That is the key first thing to do is go through your entire coaching, recruitment staff, everybody. And if they're not up to snuff, off with their heads, they're gone. Before we get into the transfer window fun, make sure you like, subscribe, and throw a comment down there on the YouTube channel so that we can get boosted on that algorithm. That's the love. That's the love. All right, so into the nitty gritty. This is the fun part. I did this save with Newcastle because of their huge transfer budget. I mean, 200 and what? 78 million. Let's look at that. 278 million, 43 million of payroll available. Woo, woo, woo. We are looking good. Now, the sad thing is, when you start a new save, you don't have a ton of scouting information. This is what puts you the furthest behind the eight ball. Before I go through all of the players and decide who to get rid of. I'm going through this scouting and seeing, do they have any great suggestions? Now do realize I still have not hit that continue button up at the top right corner. I have not simulated a single minute in this save yet. We are doing all of the management stuff before we even touch that button. Let's see here. We got our first suggestion is an A minus would be sub superb signing here. Gabriel, 23-year-old center back, all right? I already know we need a center back. We need a defender. What is a pro? Stamina, full understanding of language, comply with a high reputation, really good in the air, would gain a work permit, would go in the core. The only problem is he can only play center back. Oh, that's not a problem for me. We're going to click on him. 16 heading, 17 jumping reach, 16 strength. We don't know all these other skills, but we got a basic idea. Tackling's 14, marking's 15, positioning 14, work rates between 14 and 16. Those are really important. Uh, acceleration 13, pace 15. So we know enough, okay? We don't have that much of them scouted. We know enough though to know this is a stud. Let's go to the reports. It's the same stuff. The only negative is only career appearances, 94. Okay. Well, how old is he? 23 years old, only 94. Well, he's on Arsenal. They've got a bunch of great center backs. He's already interested. This is, this is important. When you're going for players, got to see that they're interested. His salary he wants is only 3 million. We got 43 million, a hundred million. Do I want to spend a hundred million on the very first person that I see? I'm not sure. So I'm going to say, okay, we're going to add him to the short list. I always want to do three months at the beginning of the save minimum. Three months, six months, one year. Let's put him for three months. And then we're going to fully scout him. Okay. Go back. And then we're going to hit check. Move on to the next. As you can see down here, there's only three suggestions in the beginning of the save. B plus, superb signing. Who is this? It's a midfielder. Okay. What is his value? 41. 256, they are interested. Signing him, comply with higher reputation, would game a work permit, current international, has a good understanding of the language. And then the, here's the comparison. He'd be better than what we've got right now. Okay, so let's click on him. Bissamo. I'm going to automatically add him to the shortlist for three months. We don't know as much about him. We know less about him. We know he's got good tackling. Great. But I don't know enough to say, okay, yeah. Gabriel, I'm willing to pull the trigger, but we're going to wait on that just because this is a training video. I'm not going to just go with the first person they suggest to me. We got $270 million. We need to spend it right. He's got a good understanding of language. That doesn't really matter. You can train him in the language. It looks good. We're going to fully scout him. Now, you can also fully scout and add to the short list from this window. But if you're interested in the player, look at everything. Look at everything, okay? Declan Rice. I know about Declan Rice because guess what? I'm a West Ham United fan, okay? I love the Hammers. I know Declan Rice is a stud. It says sign him whatever the price. 
88 to 114 million. You could probably get them for a little less than that. Current international, composure, would complying with high reputation, natural in a couple positions. He can play center back and midfield as a stud. I know what he is. He's four star center back, four star midfield. This is a stud. And he's trained in England. Let's go look at him. We already know 17 stamina. He's got 16 teamwork, 16 tackling. 17 to 19 determination, 17 to 19 composure, 17 to 19 natural fitness. A plus recommendation, sign him whatever the price is what it says. Reports, same stuff, same exact stuff it showed us, would likely fit into the core group of the squad. I mean, these are all good things. Let's make an offer for him. I know I want Declan Rice because I'm a West Ham fan. Why not get the best player on West Ham? Instead of offering 88 million, let's offer just a little low. We'll go 81 million. Let's, let's do a real offer. Let's show you how you do it. So we'll say after 50 games, we'll give you 3.8 million. And then after 10 international appearances, we'll give you 7.5 million. And then we're going to drop this down to 72 million. So it's only 72 million out of our budget. We'll still have 200 million. Potential value down here, 83 million. Let's do this. Let's do installments. Six monthly installments, three installments, seven million. And that's going to be 82 million. Current season transfer budget, 82, and it's a $91 million offer. That's right at the bottom, as we you see, 88 to 114. Yeah, that's a decent offer. We'll just start with that and we'll make the offer. Submit. Good to go. All right, so we've already made an offer. One player. I know they're a stud. I know everything about Declan Rice. I know he can slot in right there in the midfield. Or if we need him to, we can go in, go in central back. We're going to go to the assignments for the scouts. Now, I only have a few scouts because I fired one. I only got three scouts. We don't know much, right? So let's go right here. First thing you need to do. Right now, it's just generally scouting for people from 15 to 50. I don't want that. General focused is going to be typically available and we're going to go i don't like players over 30 honestly so we'll go 15 to 30 we'll set the focus and then then we'll go let's go with a priority focus and i need a target forward that is we're going to set this for two months the priority is high they got to be three star potential ability three and a half star i'm backing it down just a little bit as you see here and 15 to 30 years old that can play target forward. Good, we'll set the focus. Boom. So we got two. That's not enough yet, though. We got we we've still got to do some stuff here. So, oh, I can't make an assignment. Why can't I make an assignment? That's because I'm not in control. If you take control of assigning scouts, you will be able to set up assignments. So I'm going to take control and we're going to. Go to assignments and see now that I took control, I had to refresh it basically by clicking on assignments again. Now you see it popped up the create new assignment. I am going to say, I want a player that is a first team player in the target forward role. We're going to double up on this. And this is what I want to make my tactic work. I want them to be at least six foot three. The only reason you're going to ever want to pick the specific scout is if you're looking for a player in a specific country, then you're going to want to pick the scout that is in, really knows that country. Um, so, I mean, that's a more advanced detail. This is just a new start. I'll probably eventually make a video about that, about how to drill down in certain countries. But uh, for the time being, let's go duration until finished. Uh, I don't like that. Let's do this a duration for one year. And then I'm going to start this assignment. Now, as you can see, my three scouts, they're already moved to short-term focus two, central defender, short-term focus two, central defender, short-term focus two, central defender. Once you simulate, they're going to, and I get more scouts in, they're going to start doing other stuff too. But I'm going to create a new assignment. And we're going to say, all right, I want a central defender. Let's add a condition. And we'll say, they're the same deal. I want a central defender that's tall. I want one that's at least six foot three. I'm trying to build height in the back and height in the front. Boom. There we go. I've added a couple of assignments. Okay, great. Now, 
players. I know who I want. This is who's going to fit in. And this is the key to the tactics that I play. This gentleman, Woot Wagost, all right? I don't know anything about him, right? But I already know he's six foot six, 185 pounds. He has some amazing talents. I haven't scouted him all. We're going to hit scout player, but I'm already going to add him as a transfer target because I know he is the man and he is the key for everything you want to do in a start save. This is a suggestion, free, free suggestion. You want a successful first season on any team. He's typically worth about 20 million. We're going to add Woot as a transfer target. Straight out. Adam as a transfer target. We are not done yet. We're still working on first things you need to do before you start your save. We're not going to advance the game time yet because we need to go back to our team. We haven't even really looked at our team. First off, forget this selection info. That doesn't matter yet. Hit your transfer status. You need to see what players do you have already listed. Mark Gillespie is already listed. Who else is already listed? Jeff Hendrick. 5.2 million, 800,000. Joe Linton, he's listed 7.6 million. Okay, sweet. These players that are listed, I'm going to go in and I'm going to hit offer to clubs. Offer to clubs. Because they're already default listed, that's fine. They've already been listed, I'm fine. I'll get rid of them. I'll look at them. Okay, two and a half stars. Sweet. Not good enough. We're going to offer them to clubs. Sweet. Goodbye. They're already listed, but I want to make sure they're offered to clubs. Tell them we're, we're serious, okay? So three, three star, this is, okay. Joe Linton is a, a striker. We're already offered for Woot, and we're going to get more than, than him in the striker. So we're going to offer him to clubs. So these are the ones that were already listed on your team. You might want to take them off of being listed when you, when you come in, but I personally, if they're already been listed, there's a reason why they wanted to get rid of them. Let's get rid of them. This is why I go to this transfer. Because this is a good way to build your team. Now, let's say you're playing on a team that is not Newcastle, that doesn't have 279 million to blow, right? You don't have a huge budget. You need to get some cash. You need to sell some players so that you can get players you like, right? The key I always look at is look at your high cost players. Callum Wilson here, he's a striker. He's worth 60 to 73. And Alan St. Maximine. 77 to 94. So let's let's compare the two. All right. So we'll go in here. He's four star. Could be could be four and a half star. So this is really good. Look at these skills. Dribbling's great. His finishing is horrible though. So he's not really a striker, right? I have him starting a striker, but now I see his fi finishing is horrible. Great dribbler. So he is definitely better at attacking middle left. So I'm just going to make this change right now. And we are going to swap out. We're going to do this. We'll go back. We'll go back to selection info. Because now I see he shouldn't be my striker. He should be my attacking midfield left. So let's find somebody who's a striker here. Dwight Gale. What are they? Two and a half star. Not good enough for me. Who else is a striker? Oh, it looks like our striker Joe, is Joe Lydon, who is already listed. And they're already injured. So now I've already got enough. I haven't done anything putting people up for listing. And I don't know anything about this team, but what I do know is that we're already selling one of our best strikers. I've already made an offer for Woot, and he's going to slot right in. He's a three-star player. He'll slot right into the, the starting lineup. But we need somebody with him. Callum Wilson, okay, four-star striker. Look at this. 16 finishing, 16 acceleration, 16 natural fitness, 16 pace, 14 stamina, 15 strength. He's, he's, he's good enough, right? Good enough, right? Uh, okay, so we're keeping Callum Wilson. So we're not going to get rid of Callum Wilson. We need, we'll put Dwight Gale in here instead of Jacob Murphy. Let's take a look at Jacob Murphy. He's three stars. He's okay, but he's more of a right, okay? So he's more of attacking midfield right. So Almirion, we'll, com we'll compare him to Almirion, who we've got in there. And let's look at Jacob Murray versus Almirion. And Almirion's faster, better mental. The only thing Jacob's got over him here is the technical. Okay, so a Marion is worth a lot more money, obviously. But what I just saw there is Jacob's pretty close. He's worth a lot less money. And a Marion is worth a lot of money, huh? 
I mean, look at that. Omarion is worth 59 to 70 million. Okay, so sweet. Before I list him, let's go into depth chart. Almarion? No, that's Maxim. Almarion is my third best attacking midfield right, and he's my third best attacking midfield left, and he's worth 70 million. So what is Ryan Frazier worth? Okay. Ryan Frazier, 53 to 58 million, is worth less, but they say they say he's better. Almarion, not as good as Frazier. Oh, and that's why, because he has a little bit more potential. I'm going to compare him with Frazier. Let's compare these two. All right, so Frazier's in blue, Amurion's in green. Okay, they're about the same cash-wise. So Amurion is much better aerial um, and much better, a little better on defending, but for an attacking midfielder, uh, defending is not important. Frazier is better at physical, uh, just a little slower, a little less vision, better on the attacking, and same on the technical, and same on the mental. I'm looking at this saying, okay, Amurion's worth a lot of money. He's got a $5 million salary. His contract goes less time than Frazier. So I, I have just confirmed what I needed to know. We are going to list him. I am going to list him. Now, it says, my client may not react well to being transfer listed. This is a risk you take. You might piss off your team, this player and the team, if you do this. I don't care. I just came into the job. I wholesale change things. This is all value-added decision. I already got depth in that position. I got depth in that position. I can bring somebody else in for the same amount, if not less. I'm going to say yes. We are going to list him. He's 56 million. Okay, that's that get us up to 300 million. We already said Callum Wilson, we're keeping him. We don't have as much depth in striker. So let's go back to the depth chart. As you can see, we got eight attacking midfield left, seven attacking midfield right. We're deep in that. Okay. And we've got we've got really good players, right? We got Frazier, him. Then we got backups, Willock, Murray. You, you don't necessarily need your backups to be more than three stars. And then let, let's look at this. Okay, potential ability. Willock's got great potential ability. Murphy, nah, Ver, Murphy's locked in that, okay? So, but you got another stud, young stud here, Jamal Lewis, who's got four potential ability. So looking at this, I see, okay, Matt Ritchie and Jacob Murphy, who possibly might not make the cut. So let's go look. What is Ritchie worth? Six to eight million, okay? We're not going to get a ton for selling him. And how about Murphy? 3.6 to 7.6. So they're both not worth a ton of money. I'm looking at the what I what I have on the bench here. And, oh, this one's sticking out to me. Jamal LaSalle's. Oh, he's 24 to 29 million. And for some reason, I defaulted him onto the bench. And once again, Ryan Frazier. Oh, well, I, I decided to keep Frazier instead of Almurion. So Almurion's listed Frazier staying. And then let's look at the starters. All right, what do we got here? Joe Willick. He's 67 to 88 million. Now he's my central midfielder. And let's look at what he's got here. Three and a half stars. He's got a potential to be four and a half stars. He's got acceleration, agility. What has he got here? Passing, technique, decent skills otherwise. Dribbling, first touch. Five foot 10. Does not have jumping reach. Does not have heading. But that's not necessarily important for your, for your uh, central midfielders. He's worth a lot of money, but He's also young, 21 years old, and he has the ability to prove. I like young players. You know what? Joe Willick, he's going to stay. Let's look at the other ones. This is a backup goalkeeper. We're not going to mess with the goalkeeps. There's a lot more skilled players out there than there are goalkeeps. And fullbacks are, are there's the dearth of fullbacks. So always be careful getting rid of your fullbacks. Our fullbacks are not very valuable. So that tells me, okay, let's look at the depth chart again. We've already, we're going to keep St. Saint, Saint Maxims. We're keeping Callum Wilson. We'll probably get another striker. Who's, how about this Gale fella here? Two and a half, 31 years old. Age is not good, for, in my opinion. They're not going to get better once they're 31. I can get two to three million for this player. He's got 14 finishing, 16 anticipation, but eh, horrible passing. Not the greatest acceleration. Only five foot ten. Sorry, Dwight Gale. You're going 
on the transfer list. Oh, he just signed a new contract. Will, it doesn't matter to me. I just took over boss. I'm going to piss him off. I'm going to confirm it. He's listed. This is all just numbers on a spreadsheet. The old players, get them out. Players that are overvalued, get them out. Get that money and get somebody else in there. But you don't want to go too crazy. Let's do this. So let's go from transfer and then we'll go general info because this shows their age. General info shows their age. And as you see, general info also shows the transfer value. I went to the transfer because I wanted to see who was listed. Now we know who's listed. We've gone through that. We're going to the general info. We still got their transfer value, but now we know who's old. Syrian Clark, 31. 31's getting up there. Dwight Gale, I already went over that. He's, he's you know, 31. Isaac Hayden's 31. Okay, our goalkeeper's 32. Our backup goalkeeper's 30. So that tells us we really need a goalkeeper. Because these are old. I mean, goalkeepers will last a lot longer age-wise than, than regular players. But I'm seeing, okay, we need, a, we need to bring in a young goalkeeper. Oh, look at this. Our, another backup goalkeeper. He's 24. Oh, let's look at Freddie Woodman. Oh, he's two and a half stars. Decent. Okay. All right. So, so we, we're, we're okay. We don't need to panic about the goalkeeping situation. Once again, let's look at these 31-year-olds that we got on, on the team here. Matt Ritchie, 31. And... You know, he's worth like $8 million. So that's once again, let's look at the overview. He's a left winger or a right winger. Not as much as attacking. I'm not going to be running that with my, with the tactics I play. So he is surplus to my needs, not just because of his age, but because of the position he plays on the pitch. Boom. Transfer listed. Now look at this. This is different, as you see. He'd prefer to stay at Newcastle, but he's open to speaking to other clubs. Now, when somebody says that, you want to list them, that's a green light. We've done a bunch of listing. Let's go back to transfer. Okay, look at this. You know, one, two, three, four, five people listed. That's not enough. Let's go back to general info. All right, Syrian Clark, 31-year-old, center back, five to seven million. Let's look at the reports. Okay, he has no potential. Uh, he's homegrown, so there's that. Enjoys big matches, fairly consistent performer. He's fairly susceptible to injuries. That is a red flag in my book. All right, instant, instant trade. Anytime somebody's fairly susceptible to injuries and he's old, get him out of there. Get him out of there. Just don't even bother. Instantly. Sarian Clark's gone. So let's go back to the depth chart because we didn't look at the defenders. We know we need defenders, but we don't have any stud defenders. We've already set priority for central defenders scouting wise but we got a bunch of three stars syrian clark is the one that i uh, got rid of i put on the transfer block so it says fernandez and lasalle's are the best players so let's go here and we'll put fernandez in and lasalle's in since that's what they say right i don't know for sure if that's really true but hey well, they're all three stars let's do it and then let's go back to the depth chart and it says John Joe Shelby and Hendrick are the best center midfielders. So John Joe Shelby and who's injured? Hendrick. I think we'll do that for Sean Longstaff since Willock is worth a lot of money. So we'll go back. Willock is down, but he's worth the money. Your players that are really valuable money, that means he has a lot of potential. You want to play them. It's got Longstaff and Hayden ranked higher than Willock. Well, but Willock's worth a lot of money, which means he's got the potential. So I want him to play to develop into a better player. That's why I moved him up. So we already know, okay, goalkeeper. We got four goalkeeps, and they're they're all startable. So we're good. Center defender, that's where we're that's the priority. We're gonna get all defense. But look, right and left as well, only three star. Other than getting Woot as a striker, we need left defender and right defender. So we're gonna go back to the scouting menu. And we're going to go to assignments. We're going to create a new assignment. And we're going to say we need a left back, first team player, who's a full back. That's it. Just simple. I need a, a left full back. Duration until finished. Let's set the duration for a year. Start the assignment. Create a new assignment. Right full back, first team player. Fullback, one year, start assignment, okay, shortlist, 
we got Declan Rice, Gabriel Woot, and Basumi. So those are just the only people that defaulted knowledge about. Now you're going to get a lot more, the more staff that comes on. And what we're going to do is we'll go back to the scouting center. So let's go players scouted. Let's just see everybody who's scouted. And this is what I like to do. We're going to go players that are scouted, and we're going to go for scout recommendation. Highlight it by the scout recommendation. And then go up to the top here. So Declan Rice, A+. Plus. Gabriel, A-, minus, right? Jack Cork, central midfielder. Okay, let's look. Let's look at him. Okay, it looks natural. Natural fitness, determination, teamwork, work rate. Well, it looks good, looks good. Looks like he's four-star ball-winning midfielder. We know about that. But this is a red flag to me. He's 32 years old. So would be a superb signing, but he'd be low transfer value. So this is somebody you could bring in and play for a year or two. And you know, you don't have to say just because they're old, you don't play them. He's got a lot. Of, he's extremely interested in coming. Low salary would be low transfer value, and he would plug right in to the lineup. Now let's. We don't want a defensive midfielder. Let's regular midfielder. Okay. So Willock and Cork are basically equal. Uh, he's a little higher than him. That's good enough for me. Let's fully scout him. And I'm going to add him to the short list for three months. Normally, I don't get. Uh, older players, but in the first season, it's probably good to, to balance out some older players with some new ones. But here, the next one on the list, tacky midfield left or a striker who is 20 years old. Let's look at this Brazilian here. And it looks like work rate really high. Everything, nothing else looks like it's going to be green because these are just, obviously, we don't have enough knowledge of them, but we have some. So, uh, but they got good potential ability. Their transfer value is high. We're gonna we're going to fully scout them, but we're not gonna we're not gonna put them on the short list. Joe, I don't know how to say that. Thirty four years old. That's way too old. Not even gonna bother. Thirty four is way too old. So we already got Bisumu going. Alexis McAllister. Okay, attacking midfield center. Let's pull this up and see. That's all they can play. That would be my secondary formation tactic, would be 4-2-3-1. I'm doing 4-2-4 right now. 4-2-3-1 would be my secondary formation, but I'm not going to get somebody who could only play attacking midfield center if I'm not going to use that position. Not even going to bother. Let's move on to the next one. Douglas Luis, midfield center. Let's take a look. Defensive or midfield center, okay? Let's see what the reports say. Would like to gain a work permit. High reputation. Once again, it's default to defensive, so let's go to midfield, and he would also be good. Let's fully scout and add to the short list for three months. Remember, I've already said to make an offer on Declan. I've already made an offer on Declan Rice. We're already going to get one central midfielder if I can pull off the Declan Rice steal. Once again, all of these people, looks like they were looking for central midfielders. Tom Davies, central midfielder, 23 years old. Decent stamina, work rate, bravery. Greens are very important uh, for long-term players. Oh, he's trained in England. He's not as good as Joe Wallach, but he, he's, he's young. So what we're going to do is fully scout him. And this is what you want to do before you even simulate anything. Go through who you've already started scouting and go ahead and keep scouting them. You need to give your scouts a lot of work. We're going we're gonna to hire a whole bunch, and they're going to be going. Uh, we go down the list. They tell her. Okay. Attacking midfield right doesn't have any greens. Okay. Uh, we're, we're, we're selling all Mirions, so he's better than the guy we're going to sell, so let's just fully scout him. We're not going to add him to the short list, though. Uh, Dave Brooks, next one. What is he? Attacking midfield right. He's got green and flair, so that's, that's good. So he's got at least one thing green. He's 23 years old. He's extremely interested. 20 million. English is a second nationality, so he, he would count, so fully scout him. Niles, this is another central midfielder, or defensive right left. So this is one of the things you want in a player. You want somebody who's flexible. He can play right, defensive fullback, left. He can even play center. He doesn't have any greens, but he's got decent skills. Tackling and passing. Marking looks a little low, but... If the acceleration's on the higher end there, closer to 17, and the pace is on the higher end, he, that's what you want in your fullback. 
So let's go to the reports. It says would-be quality signing. He's 30 to 50 million. He'd be better. But let's we don't want wing backs. We want defender right. Still says he would be a starter for us. So we'll fully scout him. Add him to the short list. I'm gonna put him on for a year because of the nationality. If they got that if they're if they're homegrown and they're gonna be a starter for you, put them on the list for a year. Try and get those homegrown players. It's just gonna help you out with the squad registration in, in England if you're playing in England. Um, so Nick says toss in. This looks like a young player. Okay, 16 million. Oh, central defender. We need that. That's a role we really need. Oh, it looks like he's 23, but he's already a stud. Oh man, look at that. All right. Fully scout him, add him to the short list for three months. Now, he's B, so next is Grady. Once again, attacking midfielder. Well, it's not a, not too expensive, so that, that that turns me on. Okay, yeah, decent. Let's look at the reports. Yeah, he'd be a little far down the list. So I'm going to fully scout him, but I'm not adding him to the short list because Grady does, eh, doesn't look as good. Jaffet, let's look at this. Defender right. Okay, we really need a fullback and central defender. He can play both. Amazing. And you get the you get the drift here. I'm just going down this list. Now he's awesome, so I'm adding him to the short list for a year. And as you can see, now I'm gonna only would only do this with all of the bees. We're gonna go through all these bees here. I'm gonna cut the video off right here, and then we'll move into the actually moving forward with the day and showing how everything happens and actually transferring and getting the players. But this is the video showing you how you start that whole pick which players on your team stay and which go. And that should do it for now. Thank you for watching. And we will have a part four eventually coming for you.